What's going on you guys, my name is Scott. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about damaging people's bushes, part two. All right guys, a couple weeks ago, we did a roof wash on this house right here. Uh, if you guys have not seen that video, I'll put the link right up here. Um, but we damaged some bushes. I don't know if you guys saw it or not. But if you guys have seen that video, I wanted to, wanted to come out here and show you guys the follow-up and show you that we have some life. Let me turn this camera around. All right guys, you can see where Compared to the video we had before, you can see where we definitely burned some bushes off, some leaves off. I mean, all this is just dead and crumbly, but look what's going on down here. We have some new buds that are coming out. So that is definitely showing some potential. You guys may remember this bush right here. You can still see it's got a lot of leaves that have fallen off. But right up here, guys, we got new blooms coming out. That's awesome. We got new blooms coming out. Same thing with these bushes right here. New blooms. Lots of new blooms. Even right here, guys, where it was completely burned. We're starting to see some new growth coming out through here. You see right here, we got some buds that are trying to come out. I don't know if you guys can see that green. Right here's some green. Um, most likely it's done for the year. And I'll explain to you guys why this happened. But even down here, we got some new blooms coming out. All down through here, back here. This bush wasn't looking too happy. But you can see it's coming back strong as it can come back. Back here, we got some new blooms that are coming out. So maybe by the end of the summer, we'll have at least a little color back in these bushes. Even these guys, these were nuked up pretty good. But look, big, nice, beautiful red and green leaves coming right back out in it. Right here, you guys could really see it. And you can still see it. I mean, this stuff was just, I mean, annihilated. We burned it really good, but look at the drip line now, guys. It's starting to look a lot better. We've got new blooms coming back through here. See them? All the way down. We've got a really good line that goes down here, but you look through it now. This used to be solid brown. Now we've got some color popping back through it. Out here, these got it the worst, guys. I mean, these things were... I mean, they still look rough, but... Come a little closer. Let's see if I can get that to zoom in right here. Look at there. Look at them nice brand new blooms trying to come out. Awesome. Look right here. New blooms. All right, guys. So as you saw in the first video, we had to do a, a serious, serious roof wash on this house. This is the pump house. This is the actual house. The house. Look at the roof. I mean, it looks fantastic. Um. In that first video, guys, it looked like we had killed every bush here. Um, one thing I did do is I put some fertilizer out on these bushes after we got done. Um, I talked to a local landscaper. I'll give him a shout out. It's uh, Sweet City Landscapes in uh, Vidalia, Georgia. Um, called him, showed him the video, talked him through what we did, and he explained to me that, yes, Bleach can kill vegetation, but it has to get to the root. You see, like Roundup, he explained to me, is a systematic solution. It's designed to soak in through the leaves, down into the root, and kill the entire plant. As opposed to bleach, it's not really designed to absorb into the plants. So it kind of gets on the leaves, and it'll burn all the leaves off but the roots are still good, so the plant's not going to be dead. It's gonna come back. Another thing that caused all of this to happen was the time of year that we sprayed this roof. It was springtime. I mean, like fresh blooms all over all the bushes and trees. Everything was big, nice, puffy, big green and red flowers. I mean, it's beautiful, right? 
but they're fragile. They're babies, they're baby blooms, and we just punched them dead in the face. So that didn't help the plants. They got a little angry and they pouted for a while, but they're starting to come back strong. Look how beautiful these hedges are coming back, man. Um, he did tell me not to put fertilizer on damaged bushes because they're already in a weak state and then you're hitting them with something else. He advised me not to put fertilizer on any damaged plants or stressed out plants. So I would like to correct that part. Um, but everything that he told me is, uh, is, 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 uh, is showing to be true, guys. So when we did that roof, I got complacent. I didn't spend the time to, to piggyback Trent while he was up here cleaning this roof. Um, he was up there spraying and I got sidetracked because I really wanted to make this driveway look the way it looks now. Uh, and I went out there and started doing it so we could get done for the day. And I just, I don't know what I was thinking, but we didn't water the plants down really good. Didn't uh, rinse during the process, didn't rinse after the process. Uh, well, we did, but it was a little too late by then. Um, so we definitely burned some leaves up, but the trees and bushes are still alive, guys. What do you think about that? Does that give you a little bit of a little bit of comfort in roof washing? Hmm. Let me know in the comments below. Have you guys actually literally killed any bushes or trees? If you did, what happened and why did it kill them? Let me know in the comments below, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Big shout out to Sweet City Landscapes. Appreciate the help, brother. God bless.